Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to do a little deconstructing of my spring decor. This will probably be a very quick video because in actuality, this is right before I go on my trip and I am wanting to clean off of the kitchen, clean off my kitchen island uh, to make room for Kristen, who is going to be preparing while she's staying here with Sam. She's on her spring break, actually, and she's going to be preparing for her Mother's Day tea. And I'll put a link in the description or an iCard here of what Kristen did to prepare for what she does every year to prepare for her tea. So I want to give her the whole island and I don't want her having to move this three-tier tray on and off and on and off. We're not going to be here. Nobody's going to be coming and going. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this three-tier tray today before I start my packing. But I thought I would bring this to you, you know, just to show you how I deconstruct my decor. And I do this. I kind of wanted to do a little chit-chat with you, too. This is to begin my patriotic series or my next decorating series here. I go through this process several times a year. And for those of you who've been with me for a while, you'll know what I'm fixing to get to do here. Uh, for those of you who have just joined me, first of all, thank you for subscribing and welcome to my channel. And uh, I'm excited to get started to, you know, to do some deconstructing of my spring decor here and in preparation to put up my patriotic. Other than that, this summer, I'm not sure what else I'm doing as far as decor is concerned. I have done so much through the year and I have traveling and all of this stuff. So it's, it's hard to keep up with all this stuff, especially to the scale which I do it. I mean, I do, I decorate wholeheartedly. You know, when I change out to a series, I just don't stick a flag here and there and call it patriotic. You know, I change out vignettes and lantern centerpieces and my mantle and cozy corners and it's it's quite the to do as you guys will see i don't know how many videos will be in this queue in this playlist but there'll be several i'm sure so anyway i'm just going to start out with this three-tier tray and as i'm chit-chatting with you here we'll do this three-tier tray so let me turn my camera around and show you what i'm talking about and i'll show you one of the major tools that i have found to use when deconstructing these vignettes or these little accent like this three-tier tray for instance or a lantern centerpiece i found these beautiful uh huge ziploc bags that i can put all the accent pieces into and keep it all together and label it and put it in a bin so i do switch out my decor a lot I use the same decor over and over and over again and yes i do have hauls and yes i add to uh, my existing uh, accent pieces for whatever season, but I'm still getting used to being in this house and filling up the spaces in this house. So I add a little bit more each year, not a ton as you've seen in the past uh, couple of haul videos, but I do add and augment the accent pieces and the, and the, the, my, what's in my coffers right now. Anyway, I'm rambling and yammering and what is new? Let me turn around here and I'll show you what we're fixing to do. All right, here we go. As y'all can see, here's my island. And I am just really gonna just clean this out and put everything, or as much as I can, in one of these big Ziploc bags. And this is a three gallon Ziploc bag. And I think we found these in Lowe's or Home Depot, one of them. And they are not cheap, I will be honest with you, they're not cheap. But, I, no, I'm fibbing. Chris got these off of Amazon. If I can get you a link, I will. I think he got like three boxes for a certain amount, and I don't remember how much he got them around Christmas time, I think, or fall when I was deconstructing. But here's how big the bag is, you can see. I'm hoping I can fit all of this into one bag, but, you know, and this is all, that I'm going to call this my spring three-tier tray, kitchen three-tier tray. Uh, I am gonna get some paper towels out because there are a few things that I wanna wrap up in paper towels, like the bunnies, uh, and put them away gently. I'm gonna go ahead and pack these bunnies up with it too. 
So let me get some paper towels here. What you doing, Sam? Sam just walked in. You can see him there. Hi, Sam. Whoops, there he goes. Sorry, did he? You were coming in right when he went out, right? start up wrapping. I'm just going to wrap these gently up like this just to so they don't clang 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 next to one another. I don't want Krista to feel like she had to move everything off of here every time she wanted to do a project to get ready for her little tea that she does for her students and their parent or their mamas and grandmas or whatever females they live with, you know, for Mother's Day. Let's go ahead and take this guy. You know, sometimes I hesitate. Now, I'm going to leave him and put him in my garage. To be honest with you, because I may want to pull him out in the summertime. I want only want what is is blatantly spring or Easter in here. Like the, the lamb's ear, I may just well, I don't know. Definitely I want the bunnies wrapped up in here. very careful with my things you guys I want them to last through you know through each season so I am careful you know I am careful to wrap them up and take the extra time it takes to put things away you know and to make sure that they're going to be okay when you go to get them next you know, when I go to get them next spring okay a couple of Tulipy looking eggs. These are salt and pepper shakers. And it'll be a surprise when I go to open this stuff up next year. Okay, now I've got, good morning, this is God. Got that stuck on there with a glue dot. take off as best I can. And florals. A couple of little pink bird, one pink bird. That's all I have. A little bunny. Oh, there's another praying bunny. There's bunnies. Procreate, don't they? <laughs> okay. I have a bin for these out in the garage, so I'm going to put these in the garage. And then just some magnets and the florals. You know? I might put all the florals in a separate bag. I have little candles in here that I keep over in my big hutch. So I'll just put those back over there. Sweet little angel. just enough. I know this is one piece. Did I stick it together? I know that I'll have just enough to fit in here. This and I think I'm going to keep
keep the bird out and put the florals in one Ziploc bag. in here too. I'm not going to be able to close it, but it'll be inside a bin. So that'll be fine. I'll find a um, Sharpie. Should have labeled it first. But let's see if I can do this. Spring. tiered tray kitchen and there we go all right I'm gonna go put this so I can take it downstairs I'll be right back and I'm gonna put this in the dining room just to get it out of Kristen's way be right back I will not pack this beautiful Lazy Susan away um, in the basement. I'll put it in underneath one of my cabinets here to keep it nice and safe so it doesn't get broken. And that little bit of stuff will go out in the garage. And let me turn my camera and do a little chit-chatting with you here for a minute, huh? Okie dokie. So like I said, I'm just, I'm fixing to start packing for my cruises which by the time you see this, you may have seen me in real time. By this time, I'm not sure where, again, this little video will fall in the queue. I may have warned you that it was coming. Actually, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to wrap my brain around all of this stuff. <laughs> Uh, but I, you know, I did get my hair cut again in preparation for my cruise and uh, she cut it even shorter, which I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving this shorter haircut. I'm telling you, I just love it. And I had gotten my nails done in preparation for our cruise. So just to tell you that, and if you haven't seen me in real time yet, you will very, very soon. <laughs> I worked so hard though to make sure that you guys got some entertainment and you know when I was gone I would I thought that was real important for me to do just because I've you know and it may not be like this all the time it just so happened that things came up and I just put them into video and got them in the can and got them scheduled you know for you guys so you know I hope as I go through my life it happens that way but sometimes it may not you know and and I know you guys will forgive me if it doesn't <laughs> So anyway, that is the first uh, little video in my, de you know, my, my spring <laughs> decon deconstruction, if I can talk. I've got a long way to go, as you know, and I'm going to take my time, you guys. I don't need to rush through this de decor series. You know, I, I've got all the way the rest of May and th into June to, uh, you know, to get this decor series. I've got another little trip coming up at the beginning of June. So, you know, uh, uh, that's just me by myself. Chris will be here. So... Uh, maybe I'll bring you along on that one a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, let me close this one out and say I missed you guys. <laughs> you know, talking to you in real time. Of course, I talk to you as much as I can in comments, you know. But uh, it's a little different when it's, you know, I know that you're not going to see this for a couple of weeks, couple, three weeks, maybe even, you know. 
and uh, I know that I will have missed you a lot by the time you see this. So it's good to kind of be back, you know, in real time. Look at my face, y'all. I'm having a hot flash. I don't get very many, but look at my face. I am having a daggum hot flash. <laughs> Woo, Lordy. <laughs> you know, if anybody, uh, you ladies who are just starting into, into menopause, hang on to yourselves, girls. This, the, look at me, look at my face. I am, I don't ever get like hot. I'm not like, you know, here you hear some ladies say, I'm just hot blooded, I'm hot all the time. I'm not, I'm cold all the time. I'm the opposite. I don't care if it's the middle of the summer, if the air conditioner's down in here because we keep Sam comfortable, you know, I'm freezing. I'm rambling. <laughs> like you all are gonna answer me back <laughs> right now. Oh my land. Anyway, excuse my hot flash. Woo! Uh, so let me go into some final words here. It's been a little crazy one, huh? I've been a little discombobulated and a little bit, you know, scatterbrained. What's new there, but whatever. Anyway, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, Good care. Bye-bye.